Today we'll be taking apart the new iPhone 4S. Just like the iPhone 4, we're going to remove the two pantalobe screws located on the bottom of the phone. And we'll slide the back case off. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery. And the one thing we noticed different on the 4S from the 4 is there's two screws holding down the battery connector. So we're just going to remove those two screws. We're going to use our pry tool to pull up the battery connector. And then the pry tool also to pull out the battery. After the battery is removed, we're going to remove the logic board. And then we're, we have to remove the SIM card first in order to remove the logic board. We're going to remove the shield holding down the dock connector cable and there's two screws holding the shield in. We're going to use our pry tool to carefully lift back the dock connector cable from the logic board. And then we're going to peel back the cable and be careful because it is taped down to the logic board. Then we're going to disconnect the antenna cable from the logic board located right here. We're going to remove the shield covering up all the video uh, connector cables and it's held down by four screws. After removing the four screws, we're going to remove the shield and there's a tab located right here. We're just going to push it towards me and lift up and you'll see the two tabs right here as well. Next we're going to remove the shield covering up the second antenna cable located right here and there's one screw holding it down located right here. Now with your tweezers we're just going to come right in front of the shield on the front of the phone and lift up. And then next we're going to use our pry tool to remove the camera located right here. Disconnect the cable.
Now we're going to disconnect the second antenna cable connected to the logic board that was located underneath that shield using our pry tool. Next we're going to remove the five cables from the logic board located right here. We're going to use our pry tool. And when removing this cable here, there'll be another hidden one underneath located right here. We'll just remove these two cables. After carefully removing the four cables from the logic board, we're going to remove the five remaining screws holding down the logic board. And located right here, you'll see a sticker covering up a screw underneath it. So we're just going to take our tweezers included in the kit and we're going to peel the sticker back, exposing the screw. And the third Phillips screw is located right here. And the last two screws here and here are flathead screws and you can use any jeweler's screwdriver not included in our kit to remove these two screws. After all the cables are disconnected and all the screws are removed, we're going to remove the logic board by pulling up on the bottom of it and pulling out towards you. Now we're going to remove the two screws holding down the speaker assembly. And note underneath this screw there's a triangle spacer that needs to go back when reassembling. And the speaker assembly will just pull up and out. The final part we have to remove before we get to the screen is the vibrator assembly. We'll just take the pry tool and just slide it underneath, lift up, and it's just held down by double-sided tape and just comes right out. Finally, before removing the screen, we have to remove these four screws on the corner. And located in this corner here, you'll see a piece of tape covering up one of the screws. So we're going to use our tweezers to pull off that piece of tape, exposing the screw. And located on the side of the phone, you'll see these screws here. And we're just going to loosen, loosen, I'm going to loosen them up. Uh, it's up to you if you want to remove them or just loosen them up.
after loosening our six screws on the side here and removing our four screws on the corner we're going to begin to remove the LCD and by doing that we'll just take our pry tool and we'll start in the corner here and if your screen isn't already broken you have to be very careful when lifting the screen out so just start the corner Start from this corner over here. And then be, ca be careful on removing cables. After our screen is removed, there's a couple parts that need to be transferred over to the new screen, and that is the home button here, and the earpiece grill located right here, and the camera dust cover located right here. All need to be transferred over to the new screen. After we have all of our parts transferred onto our new screen, we're now going to install the screen back into the phone. In doing so, we're going to be very careful of this fold and the cable is located right here so we don't get it caught in between the screen and the phone. You can see the fold and this cable right here. And after that's all the way through, we're going to line our tabs and we're going to make sure that our washers are on the inside of these tabs. And it'll seat all the way flat once the screen is in. I'm going to tighten up the screws on the side here. Install the remaining four screws in the corner and reinstall all the parts to the phone in reverse order to get any parts or to have your repairs done by us, go to techrestore.com.